guys, it's Aisha. Hey. <laughs> hey, everybody. Steven again, Hybrid Drive Pictures. I'm here with Karen Ashley, who played the Yellow Ranger, Aisha, and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie. How are you doing today, Karen? I'm doing great. I'm at Power Morphicon. Life couldn't be any better. That's what I've been saying. How can you not be awesome when you're here? I know, right? Everybody is awesome, and I've gotten so much love, so I'm so excited. Yeah, so 20 years later, I mean, did you ever expect when you first got on the show that you'd be here signing autographs? Absolutely not. I, I honestly thought, like, when, I, it was funny because Jason, Frank, and Steve kind of pulled me into this world of, of conventions, and they told me, you got to come, they want to meet you, they want to take pictures with you, they want to see you, and I was like, do they even know who I am? And they were like, no, you don't understand, like... I mean, they're crazy about Power Rangers, and look at look at us. I mean, it's been probably about 10 years ago that happened, so here we are. The 10 years of meeting with the fans of these conventions, is there a fan interaction that really stuck out for you or something someone told you? You know what, they're all so special. Um, I think when I get, you know, uh, people who come up to the table and they go, you know, it was because of you that, you know, I decided to do martial arts, or it's because of you guys that I used to be bullied, that I became, you know, strong and I believed in myself, or young girls will come up to me and say, you know, I'd never seen a girl with braids on TV before, and you look like me. So th that just makes me feel so happy. I mean, every day, it's it blows my mind the love we get. You know, and it's so special to so many people after all these years. So when you were first getting on the show, back before all the fans, you auditioned for the show before the whole replacing thing happened on the show, before the original three Rangers left. Did you kind of have to be secretive and? You know, we didn't know we were replacing people. So we just knew that they were looking for three three new people, three new characters for the show. And, you know, we could be a Ranger or we could not be. You know, they didn't tell us much. And so the audition process for us was really quick. At the time that we auditioned, they'd already left the show. So literally within four days, we got the part. So it was like we auditioned in Texas. And I mean, it was like they were looking for people all around the country. But four days later, they were like, okay, you got it. And I was like, Wow. Blown away. Life changing. And then they rushed you off to the movie pretty much right after, right? Yeah, we were in um, here in LA probably two months that we got to try to do as many episodes as possible. And then, yeah, we got shipped off to Australia for like about six months and, and did the movie. Yeah, that movie is so popular. They even did a screening of it recently. Steve went and saw it again, and everybody just kind of remembered how fun that movie yeah. was. We were like 18, 19, 20. Uh, you have kids in Australia and like it, in the country you can do anything so we could go and hang and party and have fun and but it was so amazing because that was the moment we really got to know each other and we all kind of got really close I mean after being in a foreign country for you know so many months all you have are each other and so it was amazing and and I'd never been out of the country until that time so seeing Australia and seeing how beautiful it was I, I mean I, I have yet to go back but I, I, I can't wait to I'm sure they'll have you back at a con soon. I hope so. <laughs> so when you were doing the movie, I mean, is there a moment at an adventure behind the scenes, something out partying that really sticks out to you, something you remember? You know, it was funny because we were there and we were only supposed to be there for three months, but it ended up being six. So we were there for Thanksgiving, Christmas, Halloween, Valentine's Day, New Year. So it was like every holiday. Um, I remember we had a dinner for like Thanksgiving and it was really cool. And then we had this like Christmas dinner. Because we couldn't go home for Christmas, we were together and we gave each other gifts, like gag gifts and stuff. So those times really meant a lot because, you know, it was like, like I said, we've got to really become friends. And because of that, I still have these long lasting friendships. I, I, I follow all these Rangers on social media and it seems like they all keep, I mean, everybody looks like they keep in touch. Yeah, Everyone's right. guests. I think just yesterday you were over at Force Balance doing your, uh, your radio show, right? I was. I was doing Uncensored Talk, my web series. So, yeah. So, no, it's, it's so amazing because we've all gotten to know each other. Even the, the people I didn't work with, when you meet someone and you know they were on Power Rangers, they're instantly family. And we instantly want to hang out. We instantly just want to, you know, just hold each other close. Like, it's, it's a really cool thing. I've got some amazing friends from this. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your internet show, Uncensored Talk Radio, yes? Yeah, yeah, well, it was originally Uncensored Radio, and you know, it just kinda, it, it was inevitable that I was gonna get, instead of just being on online and being, you know, a, a radio podcast, it was inevitable that I, I needed to, you know, make it a web series. So now it's Uncensored Talk, and I've, I've been going across the country with Austin and Walter and David, and we've been doing all these conventions, and like at one point I was like, I should be interviewing these people. Like, I'm on the road with, like, people like Michelle Nichols and George Takei and, like, 
the William Shatner and, and, and Power Rangers and, and why am I not talking to them? So now they're on Uncensored Talk. <laughs> so where can we check that out to get all the behind the scenes scoop? You can watch Uncensored Talk on my YouTube channel, which is My Uncensored TV. Or you can go to my Facebook page, which is Official Karen Ashley. I always premiere the episode there first. Awesome. Now, to bring it back to Power Rangers, this show is called Power Rangers Essentials. We talk about the must-see moments and episodes from the show. What was the must-see Aisha episode for you? Oh, there's so many. I think, like, any of the episodes where I, my character actually got to, you know, uh, take control or, or, or get to be a little bit more of a lead. I love the Hate Master episode. I love the Wild Wild West episode. I love when I was like the hall monitor. Like I was the mean hall monitor, uh, power tripping. Like that's totally something I would do. Give me a task and I'll take it too far. It was like fire safety, yeah, right? Like no, this safety. is unsafe. This is too yeah. many plugs. Yeah, exactly. It was like cr Aisha went crazy, but it was great. So it's those moments where we, we used to have a lot of fun on that show. That's yeah. And then going along with that, we like to talk about all the lessons and morals. That was my favorite thing. What I got the most out of the show was, you know, all these great things that they would teach you, like be a good friend and yeah. don't judge people. And what was one that stuck out to you that you got to teach all these kids? Well, you know what? It was something that was never just officially said. But if you think about it, every ranger was of a different ethnicity from a different background. We weren't all the same. Like there was the jock, there was the girly girl, there was the sassy girl. To have a multicultural set of friends, I thought that was like the message that was said, but not said out loud. And it taught kids that, you know what, you can be friends with everybody. That's a good message yeah. now that I think about it, yeah. <laughs> well, that, that's a really good. Uh... Girls were tough. Girls yeah. saved the day too. Yeah. Girls can kick butt. This one right here. <laughs> All right, Karen, thank you so much for the interview. You're welcome. I'm going to go check out some more Uncensored Radio. Yes. All right. Bye. Bye. Better late than never on that interview, guys, right? Uh, well, now that my hands are covered, I finally have the time to finish editing all these. So I'm going to be finally getting all these more for content interviews out for you. Thank you so much to Karen Ashley for taking the time to do the interview with me. If you enjoy other interviews with Power Rangers, you should definitely, definitely check out her channel on Sensor TV because she has some awesome interviews with Austin St. John and Michelle Nichols, like she said. And uh, they're actually really good and really in-depth. Uh, and also, if you like interviews with Power Rangers, you should subscribe to my channel uh, because I have a lot more of those coming out and I'm going to be doing a lot more of those at cons to come. What was your favorite Aisha episode of Power Rangers? I want to know. Leave that in the comments below uh, and like that video while you're down there. And again, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys. Punch it. Pew.